This is Morganarchy, and today we've got another military ration pack. This one, as you can probably tell, is from France. Ration de combat individuel rechauffable. I am going to apologise now if I butcher any of these French words, because French is not my, it's not my strong point. If it was German, it might be a different story. So um, forgive me as well if I mix up French and German words. And uh, there's all what's in it in in French. I do recognise a few of those words. Of course, I recognise chocolat, isotonique, potage. I know what that is, and that's English, but we'll leave that covered for now. And uh, it's good till the 1st of September 2018. Military rations tend to have a very good date. I've already opened it just to save some time and have a little nosy before I did this video. <laughs> Just to make sure I could pronounce half of the words. Okay, first off, actually, let's have a look in the box when you first open it. First open it, that's what you'll see. And the little shut. So it's quite full. Okay. Muesli au chocolat. Chocolate muesli, of course. That looks very nice. I'm not a fan of muesli, as a general rule, but that looks quite nice as muesli goes. Uh, under the muesli, we've got some tissues, which of course are not for blowing your nose, they're for wiping your bum. Because when you're out in the military, uh, you might not have access to toilet roll. This, um, if this was a British ration kit, we would call it a brew kit, because it's full of tea, coffee, sugar, all that good stuff. Let's have a look. Not a resealable bag, which is odd. Okay, we've got some ver green tea. Never had green tea. That's going to be a new experience. I do like tea, but I've never had green tea. I don't even know if you put sugar in it or anything. Uh, salt and pepper. Uh, some more salt and pepper. The French love their seasonings. Oh, we've got yellow tea. Okay. What is yellow tea? Or is it just yellow table tea? Uh, yellow label tea. Okay, we have got some sucre, sucre powder, sugar, of course. We have uncafe or coffee. Two of them. Probably not going to drink that because I don't like coffee. But I think I shall give this a go. Caco. Probably really screwing that one up. Uh, a preparation arome, which is um, I don't know, right? But I'm doing a Spanish accent, not a French accent. I think I'll just stop. <laughs> but I know that says pour petit déjeuner for breakfast. So, do you drink hot chocolate for breakfast in France? Well, if that's what it says, that's what I shall do. I shall have the authentic French experience. Speaking of which, soup. And even without seeing that little picture of those fish, I knew that that said fish, because poisson is fish, and that's one word I do know. Fish soup. Can't say I've ever had fish soup before. Uh, it's got potatoes, tomatoes, salt, fish powder, uh, natural flavours, crustace powder, um, crustaceans possibly? Syrup de glucose. <laughs> glucose syrup. See, it's it's quite uh, easy if you take a good look at the words. Biscuits. Or biscuit. Uh, three varieties of biscuits. Uh, I'm going to have a go and say that salted biscuits, cereal biscuits, and camera will not focus, and biscuits with chocolate. This is a huge box of biscuits. 16 of them, so I'm reckoning... They're about as long as this box, and there's 16 of them crammed into here. I hope digging around in this box we're going to find some nice things to put on said biscuits. Okay, this is interesting. I do know what this is, because I've done my research. This is a fire lighter. But it's not just a fire lighter. There's lots of other things in here as well. Okay, this is the actual fire lighter part, and you fold these metal parts up, I'll do it now if you like. Fold these up and you fold these down 
it's just, it's quite thin metal, right? And you stand that outside on a rock, or whatever, there's your little stove, and in the middle you put one of these, which is a, a sort of, I don't know what they call them, they're like a tablet, but you can set them on fire, with matches, which are accompanied with a picture of the Arc de Triomphe and uh, the Eiffel Tower, of course. Why wouldn't they be? And I'm opening them upside down, and I'm opening them up back to front. Matches. We've all seen matches before. So, put a tablet in the stove, light the matches, and that is how you cook with one of these. And I shall be having a go at that. I don't know whether I trust myself, though. <laughs> Definitely going to be doing it outside. Uh, what purification tablets? Can't read a word of it, but, well, aqua tabs. But they look near identical to the ones that were in the British one. This uh, looks like a bag you take with your dog to pick up its poo, but presumably is just a bag to put your rubbish in. Probably very handy if you're out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, this. This is clever. Uh, this requires some um, going ahead of ourselves. Okay, the main meals come in tins like this. I haven't got a clue what that says, but it's got sausages and beans in it. So, uh, bean uh, casserole, sausage casserole, sausage hot pot. Anyway, they come in these tins, and when you're lifting them off the hot stove, you use that. You clip these two little clips into the tin, lift it up, and then you don't burn yourself. So, very, very clever, very well thought out, and I shall definitely be having a go of it. Put all this to one side, and finally that was in that box is a fork, a folded up fork. I don't know if you can see it because the light's reflecting on it, but it's a fork. There we go. One fork. Okay, while well, we're on the subject of tins, beef lasagna. It just amuses me that the brand is We Chef. <laughs> that is amazing. You couldn't get more French if you tried. I'm not sure which one I'm looking forward to more, the beef lasagna or the um, hot pot thing. I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to this though. Relay de sardines. I'm going to say that is... Um, Sardine patty, presumably to go on the biscuits. And that looks, I was going to say that looks like Denmark, but it's actually a P, and I would have looked silly saying it was a product of Denmark, but it's a product of Penmark. <laughs> and a nice tin, opens upside down, but uh, I don't know. I'm a bit iffy with fish, but if I don't like it, I have three little creatures in the house that will like it. Another tin. It's a creme caramel. It's a creme caramel in a tin. I love creme caramel. I've never had a French one. Probably this is not the best one to try if you wanted a nice French one. I'm sure it will be nice. It's probably not going to be of the highest quality that you could get in there, France. But it's, it's mental. It's so strange. The American ones have instant pudding mix that you mix with water, they have peanut butter, they have bars of chocolate, the British one had a sticky toffee pudding, apple turnovers, apple crumble, and the French one typically, just in typical French fashion, it has a creme caramel in a tin. And I can't wait to have a go of that, I'm really excited about it. And last in the box we've got a load of little squidgy, squidgy things, uh, strawberry jam. And it has a German word on it. I recognise that one, erdbeer, or a phrase, <laughs> if you are French or strawberry, if you are English. And it's uh, squishy and nice. And I shall put that on the sugary biscuits. Or maybe on the chocolate biscuits. Drink powder. A boisson isotonic. Uh, is that an orange or is that a grapefruit? I have got a bloody clue. Uh, it could be either. It's hard to tell, and it's even more hard to tell when the camera won't focus. There we go. I'm going to say grapefruit because of the colour of the flesh of the fruit. Could be grapefruit. Wasn't really a fan of the grapefruit drink in the British one. Pâté de fruits. Uh, I thought this was some sort of fruity bar, chew bar, but it's very flexible and very bendy. So it could be something akin to like a fruit roll-up, but maybe a bit more fancy than a fruit roll-up. <laughs> Now this is French. 64% cocoa chocolate. Chocolat noir. I am so looking forward to that. That looks amazing. Certainly does not look like something you'd get in an army ration. It just looks like something you'd buy and enjoy when you were in France. 
maybe bring some back as souvenirs and then wonder why you can't buy it in your country. No, they give them to their military personnel. Uh, energy bar. Quinoa cafe. Quinoa focus. Uh, yes, quinoa cafe. Oh, well, I know what quinoa is. It's some sort of grain. And cafe is coffee. So it's some sort of coffee, grainy, nutty bar. Probably not going to be all that nice. Another energy bar. Peach. Peach and apricot. Okay. Sounds fine. And finally, we've got nougat or fruit. And if it's anything like the one that was in the British ration, I will nom it because that one was amazing. So we've got quite a lot in there, quite a selection, considering it was in this little tiny box. So I hope you shall join me next time for the taste test.